None of the above. Uh, I think I heard a bomb go off. I live in uh, Winter's Gate, mm-hmm. and a big, ex- big explosion just happened out there. Hundreds of those calls, just like it, flooding 911 across the area last night. The issue, loud boom, big explosion that we know was caused by the SpaceX Dragon spacecraft landing in the Gulf of Mexico near Panama City Beach. Good afternoon. Well, along with that noise, a streak of light racing across the sky as well. WEAR's Laura Hussey shares what you all saw and shared with us on social media. Let's start out with some pretty amazing video. The SpaceX Dragon capsule all the way from outer space being hoisted onto a boat after a splash landing in the Gulf near Panama City. But it was what happened before all this that a lot of folks around here are going to remember. Yo, what? What indeed? A viewer named Judah saw this streak over Atmore and whipped out his phone. The then unidentified projectile arcs across the sky, artfully passes over the moon and continues. What in the world? Captivating and confounding observers. It was 10 p.m. Tuesday night. Janie Strange saw it over Pensacola Beach, piercing the sky over condo balconies, destination unknown. Dragon, SpaceX, com check on Dragon to ground. Well, not exactly unknown. All these folks knew. And as Mission Control quietly tracked the Dragon capsule, it was anything but quiet as it entered the atmosphere. Allison wrote, I thought my roof was falling in, loud and rumbly. Kayla said, I heard this. I was watching a scary movie and it sounded like someone fell on my roof. This is crazy. Here's a video sent to us by Stephen in Spanish Fort. He was out walking his dog when he saw it. He says he felt the boom a few minutes later. Vicky posted, we heard it and the house shook in Gulf Breeze. And Earl said, I'd like to thank SpaceX and all of its people for the heart attack. Other Facebook speculation ranged from transformers blowing up to factory explosions to aliens, and one viewer named Steve said he thought somebody was trying to steal the kayak out of his garage, so he grabbed his Super Soaker 2000. Laura Hussey, WEAR News.